demonstration, and it's called my pot, flower pot ribosome demonstration. Um, as I want to illustrate for you uh, physically what the difference between proteins made by free versus bound ribosomes. So I need at least two volunteers to come up. Um, have you been up before? No? Yeah. No? Come up, please, then. Yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> so I'm not sure this is going to work, but um, in your name is David? Leah. David and Leah. Okay. So you might think this is a flower pot, but it's actually not. It is a ribosome that has a large subunit and a small subunit. Generally, these are floating around free in the cytoplasm, but this one has assembled because it found an mRNA. This is its mRNA. It glommed onto it. They actually assembled the, um, in between the small subunit and the large subunit. And then, when it's assembled, what happens is, you, um, please, Leah, you pull that slowly. What you do is you synthesize a protein. And when you come to the end, stop there, hopefully this will come out, you end up, put this one over here, you end up with a protein that's floating around in the cytoplasm and it folds and it does whatever its business is. And what kind of what protein might this be? Myosin, dynein, kinesin, right? It's something that's around the cytoplasm. Okay, so that's that's one thing. Now we have a little bit more difficult aspect. Now we have to get the one that is actually going to make a secreted protein. So here we have a endoplasmic reticulum indicated by this mesh. And we have a translocation site. This is a docking site for our ribosome. And if you could stand back here a little so they can see over there. Can you guys see now? OK. And so we start out again with, now I have to, <coughs> I have to fish in here for my next protein. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have to do this, but I am going to. I have to open it up to get it started. Next year I'll have it all automated. If, it, if you guys think it's helpful, if it isn't, let me know and hopefully somebody will make a better one. Okay, so now we have the same, the same thing that happens. We actually get, uh, it belongs on to this, oh my gosh, now we lost, lost our mRNA. Okay, there we go. Now our mRNA is, in here. Okay, now as we um, glom on, we start to synthesize this protein, but we end up with a protein that has a signal sequence on it. This says it's going to go to the ER because this is either a secreted protein or a transmembrane protein. What happens is we have the complicated signal recognition peptide, uh, uh, protein that binds to this region and stops translation until this finds a docking site on the ER, this is the translocation site, then the translocation, then the uh, translation of the protein can continue, so we can move this through, and we make a protein, and if it's a, secret, um, a secreted protein, it ends up inside the membrane, inside the cisterne. But if it's a transmembrane protein, it, as it's being made, it actually gets threaded through the membrane. Do you hold it up like this? Like this. And we can end up with a protein that has many different folds, and this is your transmembrane protein. Then, when you want to process this and take it to the Golgi, then you just pinch off this piece of membrane, and it then goes out to the Golgi. 